Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth 204 for another episode of Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX for Gamers United. In the last episode we got the red cloak, or the red tunic, which uh, gives us perpetual superpowers uh, from the special dungeon that's exclusive to the DX game. Uh, in this episode we're going to continue onward with our quest. Do I have a... yes, I have a life potion, so I'm not gonna go here. I'm gonna continue onward with our quest and head for the mountains. Um, there's the camera area, so if you want to go there, that's great. I don't know why you want to, but, um, whatever uh, blows your float, you know. A piece of power. I do not believe that it stacks on top of what we have already, but I like listening to the music, so. Yeah. Can go up there to the windfish, but, uh, can't do anything there yet, so let's just go. Well, actually, you know what? First things first, let's go down, kill these guys. Kill you. Um, this is a shortcut. Yeah, just back that way. Uh, what you want to go down here. And uh, this is what you do first since we have the key. Is. Just keep heading right. Just keep heading right. I know what I'm doing. I'm not crazy. Ow. Up. Okay, first there's a warp here. I just wanted to find that. Thank you. And now that we've used the warp, we can go back. I don't think you actually have to use the warp, you just have to be on the screen. But it's better to be safe than sorry. Um, this is what I've always done, and by gum, I'm going to keep doing it. Anyway, this is where we put the key. It tells you it's on the mountain, but that's a lie. You have to jump from the mountain. Yay! Now that's open! Huzzah! So let's work our way up the mountain now. I love this music. And I also love just being able to kill the enemies indiscriminately. Let's see what's up here. But in here, I should say. Hello. I should probably equip the, uh, yeah. Equip that. Move that, and there we go. Don't hurt me. And now that... So normally, you could just go here. Uh, if you came here earlier. You got 50 rupees. Very nice. But since we have the Pegasus boots now, we can go through. Break on through to the other side. And, oh, it's that guy that said he would be lost up in the mountains earlier in the game. I don't know if you remember, but he's like, No, oh, you better be on the lookout for me. I'll be lost in the mountains later in the game. I was like, wow, that's foreshadowing. Like, right through the fourth wall. And this is a fake treasure chest. Surprise, surprise. So let's go down this way. And come out here. Hello. Yeah, Papa. And got lost just like he said. Now I'm so famished I can't move. Can you give me some vittles? Now when I was a kid, I had no idea what vittles were. I'm like, vitamins? This pineapple's so delicious. I'm like, okay, a pineapple is a vittle? I thought it was a pineapple. I'm going to eat the pineapple right now. Bon appetit. I like how they speed up the music there. Oh, this isn't meant to be a reward. Here, take this flower. It's a hibiscus. Or a hibiscus if you're British, I guess. And you can take a shortcut down, which is probably advisable. And that's more areas that we're not going to get to yet. I just like the way that this looks for some reason. Um, let's jump down here, probably. Yeah, okay, that's fine. And he's gone. He's already back home, believe it or not. I don't know how he got ahead of us, but who cares? Let's just go this way. Can't go up there. It's just a wall. This is where this would normally all be deep water. Um, if you hadn't drained out the, uh, uh, with the key. So let's jump down here. Aha, that just leads back across, so, you know, don't go in there. Level 4, Angler's Tunnel. Alright. This is a fun, uh, fun dungeon. Uh, one that makes use of your shield. We haven't used shield in a while, so let's, uh, kill these enemies. Um, things are gonna be a bit easier in the game in general, since we have the, um... Since we have the... That, why did that not 
turn over. Weird. Uh, you know, we got the power, but, uh, I don't care. You got the compass, now you can la 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 It tells you every single, with every single compass, which drives me crazy. I guess, you know, they can't, like, change the programming, but it, it's really annoying. It's kind of like in, um, you have to avoid the deep water, otherwise you'll drown, because we can't swim yet. Uh, it's kind of like in Twilight Princess, how every time you turn the game off, uh, it resets the you got an item thing, so, like, even when you get the one rupee, it tells you it again. And, uh, it's just kind of annoying. Um, I just, I don't like that, uh, that fact. I guess it's good if you haven't touched the game in a while, but... It just, it really grates on you. Uh, I don't think we can go further yet. So, let's go back. I, we don't have another key, right? Okay. So, let's go back this way. Because we haven't explored that area of the dungeon yet. Uh, let's go up here. As we can get that treasure chest that we saw. Hopping around the creek the tree. And we get a stone beak. And that's finally the owl statue that belongs to it. I don't know, I can understand maybe like each key in a dungeon is different or something, but why can't we just take the stone beak from the first dungeon and apply it onwards? And you get the treasure chest. <laughs> you get the map. You get the treasure chest, yes. Every single treasure chest is a treasure chest. Let's hop across here by combining... That was a bad jump. By combining two things. And jump. There we go. And I almost forgot. There we go. Ah, okay, I don't know why I did try to do that, but let's pick this up. Hopefully there's a bomb under one of these. Nope. Thanks for not providing me with bombs, game. You better have a bomb under one of you, otherwise I'll be mad. There we go. I'm not happy that the little bomb icon, like the little bomb thing that you can get is only one bomb. Because it's kind of necessary in other parts of the dungeon. Like, you know, some things are like five, some things are like whatever. It's just, it can, it can get annoying. So let's get this key, and you're gonna want to build up a little thing of keys. Like, don't just go running back to that other area. Uh, I wonder if they put... No, it doesn't come back. Oh, well. And, because that needs a bomb. I guess you could jump around it if you want. I, I can try. Um, it'll be kind of annoying. First, I just want to kill this thing. Ow. Thanks for drowning me. Okay, so he's dead. And... Oh, go away. Ow. I was very close, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was beautiful. Well, yeah, okay. I can drown myself back to the front of the room. Who cares? I don't have to use a bomb there. And that's all that matters. That was actually, I, I have to applaud myself on that one. Go away, go away, pea hats, who I thought were just pots that with that use their flowers as propellers. Which is kind of what it is, but not really. Okay, that was awful. At least the slime followed me. Okay. Let's go down here. Down here, down here. And... I think we'll reach a dead end around here somewhere. Yes, okay, so there's nothing there. Oh, there's the bomb thing that you can get with all the bombs and things and stuff and faces. So let's do that just because... That was stupid. Just because that was stupid. Okay, uh... Shield. Yes. Shield my shelf. I shall shield my shelf. Because my shelf needs a heck of a lot of shielding. And we get the dungeon music back because we didn't really need whatever it was that we had before. Two and two before. I don't know why I just said that, but it's from a joke that I heard once. Like, give me a sentence with four. Okay, or with before. Two, uh, with before, yeah. Two and two before. I don't know. I just like to spout random things at, at any specific time. Hey, I made it on the first try. Aren't you proud of me? And I jumped into the enemy because I thought it was the sword. 
It is a gripe I've heard about this game, the constant item switching. Uh, yeah, I can agree a little bit. Um, you know, at first let's just kill the enemies here because you'll see that. Aha! Uh -huh. There goes our key right away. Um, let's kill these guys because I don't want them coming back. And you? Let's talk to you. The glint of the tile will be your guide. Okay. Let's jump across. Here? Go away. Go away. And up here. I hate it's right in your way and then they just like fly around. And... Yeah. Ah! You've got the Guardian Acorn. Now have the Guardian Acorn and the power. And I think that's... Yeah, that's also nothing. If it's right in the way like that, it's gonna be nothing. Whee! Whee! Stop telling me that Norton is performing idle tasks, you doofus. And it's a key! And up here... Not up to that yet. But that's uh, a clue to what we do there eventually. So let's see what else we gotta do here. Nope, that's the, uh, that's the boss area. Mm, we're not up to the boss area, are we? Now we're going to go back up to this room where the key fell through the area because that's what we have to do. Is that clear? No? Good. I enjoy being big. Vigacity is... is, uh... it's my, uh... standard. What does that mean? Shut up. I didn't even talk to you. I was a tile away from you. Bam! And let's go up here. Mini boss time! So this mini boss can be kind of annoying, where pretty much you just have to hit him in the back. And since I'm charging up my sword and have superpower, he should die in like three hits. Four hits. Aha! I called it. No, you did. Shut up. And that's pretty easy. Normally he'd be really annoying and you just jump over him, but uh, yeah. Um, yeah, you would just normally have to pull that and it would. Uh, open the areas back up. Yeah, pull the little lever in the corner, and here we get the flippers. It's the item of the dungeon, and we can swim underwater now, which is great because now we don't drown. Drowning, drowning hurts. So jump. I said jump. Oh, fine. You just you have to just have to touch them. So one, two. Oops. And if you touch any of the other ones, then it doesn't work. Okay, so that opens that back up, but that's the same code that you have to use down there. So top uh, top left, bottom right, middle, bottom left, top right. I'll remember. And now we can swim through here. Yay! Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm going to go this way, because if you go down here, you're like, oh, why didn't you do this before? Because there's water, but our key is down there. You can't get the key unless you have the flippers, otherwise you drown in the very visible water. You just disappear. Which is interesting. Very interesting. Oh, I love just making enemies explode away from you. It's so violent. And you can press B to dive to try to avoid damage. And... Okay, so now that we're here, let's just take care of the enemies, and one, two, three, four, five. And we get a staircase. Where does the staircase go? Uh -huh. Okay, so now what you have to do, uh, no, is lure him down. And then jump on top of him, haha! -ha. And now we're up here, and we get the nightmare's key. Beautiful. Let's see, what else do we have? Do we have two more treasures? So let's go after them, because there's nothing I like more than going after treasure. And let's go here now that we can. And it leads us to this. Jump and open that, and let's 
We can't push that open. Interesting. I just want to see what the treasure is. Because now I'm curious. Very curious. It's rubies! Very nice. I'm pretty sure that leads to the nightmare, so let's go see what that last treasure was that we didn't get yet. And let those guys drown. Because they're stupid! You're so stupid! I don't want to yell, so that was a little quiet, but who cares? And... Okay, let's see if I can do this right the first time. Nope. Didn't think so. And there's a treasure here, which is probably more rupees. Go away. Yep, more rupees. You got 50 rupees. Very nice. We're getting a lot of rupees now, which is pretty schmantacular. And we got a fairy there, so let's head towards the boss. Doing, uh, we're completing this dungeon pretty nice time. Let's just kill that guy and that guy so that they don't annoy us. And jump! Wow, I did that in the first try. I'm so proud of my unbelievable talent. I'm just, it's just so blindingly overwhelming how awesome I am. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No? Me neither. And so let's go up here and get more hearts. And kill the cheap cheeps! Yay, this is cheap cheeps in this game, that's right. And underwater, if you have the rocks feather, you can press A to, uh... I don't know, even if you don't have the rocks feather, actually, but you can use your sword in all sorts of directions, which is kind of nice. Um, I really like the underwater mechanics in this game. It can be a bit slower, at least it seemed that way, but it's okay. And, uh, I got a piece of power that's completely useless. But anyway, let's go down here to the boss. And unfortunately, we're not going to hear the boss music, or will we? Blub, blub, glub, glub, blub, food, blub, glub. Oh, it's the dope fish. So the dope fish, what you do as the angler fish, it's the angler's dungeon, so it's the angler's fish. Surprise, surprise. You just hit... You hit the uh, the little light at the end, the little light fixture, and it's dead already. This is one of the easiest bosses. If you get in front of it, it chases after you, but this is really one of the easiest bosses in the game. Not just because I beat it easily, but because it just is. Especially if you have the power thing like I have, and uh, or you just have a you know, thing. But anyway, it just doesn't attack, and it, it, it's really easy to kill even without what I did. You've got the Surf Harp! It's one of my favorite instruments. Bay, your road goes into the bay. And that's about it for this episode. In the next episode, we are going to head to the left. That's right. <laughs> I, would, I didn't mean to say that, but yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. This has been Several Total 4 with Lesser Zelda Link's Awakening DX for Gamers United. Bye-bye.